Hello YouTube <coughs> again. Hile of bullets, eh? That's a quite a title. That's the best bet the best I could think of really. Um right, hail of bullets, Royal Enfield bullets. This is a bullet standard. I think we're all familiar with this one, the UCE one. I'm only dealing with the UCE ones at the minute. Um, this is a the, the latest addition to the, the fleet. I had a deal with my classic 350 which went to uh, the Norfolk Thunderbolt up in Norfolk and this was his X-Bike. I've just put another seat on it and before anybody picks me up, yes I know I haven't got the back bolts in the in the back bracket but I've only just put it on literally just now because it had a single seat on it. Um, yeah, nice bike, nice clean bike. This one is, um, I don't think what year this one is, it's 2016 I think. Uh, and then we got this one, another UCE 500. It's probably, it started off its life as one of those, and then it got converted to look like a Fury with all the Fury parts on it. Um, it's a 535. This one I've done videos on this one, a walk around and a ride out on it and everything. Um, it's got a new barrel and a forged piston in it and a carburetor instead of fuel injected and um, it goes well it does really go well but this one's an early one it's 2009 um, in spite of what the speedo says on the mileage 4377 if you do a vehicle check on the uh, on, on the government website it's actually done altogether it's done 10,000 miles which is still nothing for one of these but um Oh dear, I'm tripping over everything now, weeds and everything. Yeah, so that's it. Oh, I reckon it's a nice looking bike. That's why I got it. Um, it's got disc brake on the front. Got drum brake on the back, which tells you it's an earlier one. Um, the right seat for a Fury, the right mud guards, the right tank, the right headlight, the right front mud guard. Everything's right on it, the handlebars. Um, if you don't know what a Fury is, I'll put a picture up of an original one. They were late 60s, early 70s, and uh, they're just, they were for export only, by, made by Royal Enfield UK. Uh, they were export only to exotic places like America. Um, so we didn't get them over here, but there's one or two that's been imported back. But they were quite a thing, because they were competition only. And instead of being 27 horsepower, they were um, up to 40 out of 500. I don't know how long, how long they last or how reliable they were, but yeah, so that's that one, the old bullet standard. Got that horrible squared off my guard, but uh, that is a bullet mark, isn't it, you know, for the Indian bullets. And then we've got this poor old thing, which is my 2020. Uh, classic which i bought new look at the state of it it's covered in dust it's all this wind and that we've had it's blown all the dust in through the doors and it's covered this absolutely smothered it looks like a barn fine now but uh this is a 2021 i bought it new and i've done about i don't know 5797 miles but it will all clean up the tree and people moan about oh I don't know Indian chrome it's not very good is it no the early stuff wasn't but this stuff is all right this has been through floods and and all sorts puddles and mud and cross muddy tracks and um, it wants a damn good clean I need to get the polishing mops on the engine they're really sort of uh, starting to get a bit furry now it's hard work keeping on top of all this lot but there yeah, you know I'm just doing a just showing you what each one's like and then you can make your own mind up which one you like leave you leave what which one you like in the comments i, I, I like to read all that because i'm nosy you see i like to know what pe other people like as well all the parts to do this one are available from hitchcock's um if you go on hitchcock's website and go under styling uh, on their header page and you can find the fuel you can buy all these parts it costs you a fortune to convert one over but if you really want to go down that route 
and make yours a little bit different. Um, it's all on there. It's got a goalie silencer on this one. Bit of say goalie silencer. And it speaks very highly. <laughs> this one's got a Hitchcock's uh, silencer on it as well. <clears throat> they all sound nice with them on. This one has got one and it's got a bit discoloured with the heat. Um, it's had a, a bit of a lather in it in its past with me, but it's been serviced regularly and it is a nice bike. I like them all. I haven't got any favourite Royal Enfields really, otherwise I wouldn't have them all, would I? I do like the, the Iron Barrel 350 on it. I know it's not fast. Um, you know, if you've got any watches or timekeeping apparatus, you need to forget them, leave them at home because they're not relevant when you're riding that. <laughs> it's not a time machine. Well, it is, it takes forever. So, here we are. It's uh, just a variation of bullets. Hardly a hail of bullets, I suppose, but all the different sort of things you can do with them. Well, like leave them alone, take the rear seat off it, or turn it into a fury. But you can do trials ones, you can do anything with them. All the parts are available from Hitchcock's motors. Motorcycles, I should say, not motors. So anyway, just a bit of an entertainment for you on a Monday evening. Um, I better start looking for the Solvo and the polishing mops, I think, <laughs> before I do too much more. There is a, a 500 UCE that's not here. Da -da -da -da. We know which one that one is. That's the one that's rendered down into the big lumps, the cream and cream and maroon one which is not going to remain cream and cream and maroon that's a tongue twister for me uh, it's going to end up in candy apple forest green um, that will take the place of my 350 that I got rid of and got this um, which I'm actually this afternoon I've just been talking about the paintwork with the a custom painting firm which I shall feature when I when I get it all done. So there we are, three bullets. Well, not a bullet, a classic, but it's the same engine. A bullet and a bullet, but a fury. Gets complicated, doesn't it? So there we are. Don't know what else to say about them, so I'll let you go there. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.